you're one of the few athletes that trains barefoot. And it reminds me of a, a video. I remember, I think it was Phil Doyle back in, man, it must've been the 2000s. He had some foot where he was barefoot or some video where he was barefoot, or maybe he was in flip-flops or something. That was really the first iteration I saw of someone training barefoot. But to this day, you're the only person I know of that you can consistently find videos with no shoes. And in your case, it seems like every video has no shoes. It seems like the most natural way. What advice do you have for people who maybe are like, you know, I actually want to try that? Do you think it's too aggressive just to do it? Should you ease into it? How would you advise someone ease into it? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I get this question a lot. Um, and going back to what you were saying about Phil and stuff, yeah, definitely Phil's a, a big inspiration just seeing his videos. And I know there are a lot of practitioners that do train barefoot, like to an extent, um, probably not to the extent that I train at this moment, but um, the advice that I give to people as far as um, transitioning to training barefoot or whether they should or should not, um, I always tell them just, it's just like parkour, you know, you got to start from the basics, you know? Go out for a walk barefoot around your neighborhood and areas that you're familiar with. You don't want to be, I don't know, driving down <laughs> to downtown LA and making your first walk barefoot with this potentially glass or, you know, anything that could harm your feet. You know, go somewhere that you know is safe for your feet, that you can slowly transition. Um, walk on grass first, walk on things that are soft, and then transition to concrete. And then, you know, you could start off with 10 minutes, a 10 minute walk, you know, mm. extra leisure and um, increase it to a 20 minute walk. And then when that feels comfortable, you can go for a 10 minute jog and when that feels comfortable, go for more. And then, you know, just get your feet in contact with as much terrain as you can. Um, one and work your way up, it sounds like. And work your way up it sounds like like yeah just yeah, exactly. progress just take it slow and then progress yeah and uh, one of the things that i would do like um i try to only hike uh hikes barefoot if i know the trail well and so one thing that i would do if i'm like trying to scout out a trail you know i'll i'll wear my shoes like to the end of the hike and then I'm like okay you know i think it's fine to walk back barefoot so i take my shoes on the one there's always, um, I feel like there's always a progression, a, a step that anyone can take to just be barefoot more. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, they see my videos and they assume I'm barefoot all the time, but that's not the case. I am, you know, your, your feet have a limit, at least for me. I'm still, you know, I'm still right now training to get my feet to a point where, you know, I can be completely shoeless, but I do train still in shoes and without shoes. So it's just a matter of what I want to do. And the way I think about shoes now is it's shoes are a tool that you can use to help your movement or maybe in some cases they don't help your movement as I'm learning now, but <clears throat> Half a session I can be wearing shoes and half a session I could not be wearing shoes. So people that see me uh, jams here and there, you know, shoes or no shoes, it just kind of depends how I feel. Mm. What about the concrete aspect? So I, I, it, I can conceptualize the idea of progressing barefoot and landing on grass and, and dirt and things of that nature. But I see you do climbs where it's a concrete wall. Are your feet really rough? Do they have giant calluses? What about it makes it that you able to do that? Yeah, yeah, I get, I get, again, I get this question asked a lot. My feet are pretty, um, you know, sometimes people show up to gems and they ask me, you know, can you show me your feet? And I show them my feet and they're like, oh, they just look like normal feet. I don't, I don't have like, giant calluses on my feet. I don't have the, the, I don't think they're rough. They're pretty smooth to the touch. Um, I think probably my feet are a little, the skin is a little thicker than the average person, but, um, bro, I, I believe it just comes down to like having good tech. Um, the reason you, <clears throat> people see me climbing a lot of my videos is because it's essentially 
I don't want to say zero impact, but very minimal impact. When you're going up, you know, even when I was wearing shoes, you know, if I want to take a day where I don't want to take so much impact, I just don't jump down. I'm jumping up, I'm climbing. So the same principle is applied to, and I'm trying to verify this. So if you watch my lines, a lot of it is going up because my your feet will give out sooner if you're jumping down, if you're trying to stick landings. So the, the technique definitely changes. Um, sticking jumps, you can do it barefoot, but it's not the most optimal thing to do. Because when, you, when you're landing, you know, when you're wearing shoes, you want to land the ball of your foot on the edge and kind of roll up. But you, you don't, you can't really do, I mean, I suppose you can if your feet are made of steel. But when you're barefoot, you don't really do that. You, you aim to land on the top. So the technique is different. The technique is different and yeah, you just have to be very sure of yourself, which is uh, a lot of uh, the reason why I train barefoot. It's just a whole nother uh, method of um, digging deep within yourself and knowing, okay, like this can be very detrimental to me if I mess up, if I slip up. You need to be really on top of what you feel you can and cannot do so that you don't make mistakes you don't you know cut up your feet or not totally do you feel that training barefoot has made you better with shoes so when you put on shoes do you feel like it's this added boost oh yeah oh yeah like i tell people it's like yeah when i put on shoes it feels like i have superpowers <laughs> <laughs> it's like i it's like wow i don't have to worry about my feet anymore um which is why I like barefoot training because I have to have this, it's an increased awareness. But when um, I'm putting shoes on, I'm like, oh, this, I don't have to worry about that. I can literally not think about how I'm going to land. Well, of course, you think about it, but like a lot less. And um, I think similarly to like climbing, I compare climbing to like bouldering in a gym compared to parkour. Like I love climbing because it's like parkour, but you don't need to worry about how you're going to land because there's mats and stuff everywhere. So similarly, okay, when I put my shoes on, all of a sudden there's this whole, you know, this whole uh, part of training that I don't really need to worry about. And it feels, it feels good. You know, 